Hello everyone, welcome back to Explorer Electronics. In this video, let's see half subtractor and full subtractor and the truth table of those and how to write the logical expressions. In the other video, we have seen half adder, half adder where two inputs are there and half adder is going to add those two inputs and generate sum and carry. This is what the logical circuit for the half adder. Similarly, in full adder, we will be having three inputs a, b and c in and sum and carry are the outputs. This is how we are going to get the logical circuit. Similarly, we can construct full adder using two half adders we have seen where two half adders are used with that one R gate is required to generate the carry. Now let us see half subtractor. We can use the same method of half adder to get the half subtractor logic. Here again a, b are the inputs but the outputs are d and b out. Here d will be called as difference and b out is the borrow. Before going to the truth table, let us understand how to subtract the binary values. See here, if you are subtracting 1 and 0, means this 0 is subtracted from this 1, obviously difference is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1 and there is no borrow taken, so borrow out is 0. Suppose if we have 0 at A and 1 at B, means we are subtracting this 1 from 0. So, 0 minus 1 it is. Now, we need to take the borrow. So, borrow out is 1. Now, the difference between these two, 0 and 1 is 1. This is how we are going to get the borrow out. Now, looking at the truth table, for 0, 0, difference is 0 and borrow out is also 0. And for 0, 1, we are subtracting this 1 from this 0. So, we need to have a borrow. So, borrow out is 1 and difference is 1 and 1 minus 0, here it is, difference is 1 and there is no borrow required. For 1, 1, borrow is 0 and also difference is 0. Now by looking at D and B out, we can write the logical expressions. For D it is, here these two are 1, 1. So by looking at that, these two inputs, I am going to write it as A bar B plus A B bar. You can also use KMAP simplification method to write the expressions. And also B out is, here B out is 1, for this it is A is 0, B is 1, so it is A bar B. So now, if you write the logical circuit for this, it takes one XR gate to generate the difference and for borrow out, it requires one NOT gate and one AND gate. This is about half subtractor. Now let us see the full subtractor. In the full subtractor, we will be having B in is the third input. So we will be subtracting A, B and B in. It is like A minus B minus B in. So according to that, we are going to get the difference and borrow out like this. So 0 minus 0 minus 0 is 0 again. Difference is 0. Borrow out is 0. Now if you look at this, 0 minus 0 minus 1. So, 0 minus 0 gives 0 again. Again, we are subtracting from that 0 to 1. So, again it is 0 minus 1. So, we are going to get difference is 1 and bar out is 1. Similarly, if you look at all the cases, we are going to get the outputs D and B out like this. We are going to apply the same rule as I said earlier while explaining the half subtractor. So, for this truth table, if we write the expression for D and B out, it will be like this. First, I am writing the expression for D using KMAP simplification method. So, wherever 1 is there, we need to put 1 and we need to start grouping those. We will be having 4 ones here in D. You can see this is 1, this is 1, this is 1 and this is 1. So, for that, I am going to get the groups like this, 4 groups. And D will be A bar, B bar, B in plus A, B bar, B in bar plus A bar B, B in bar, plus A B, B in. This is for D. Similarly, if you write the K map for B out, this is how it will be. This is for B out. And let us start grouping this 1, 1 together. 
again this one one and this one one so this gives the output b out as a bar b in plus a bar b plus b into b in so these two are the expressions for outputs now this is for difference and this is for bar out now we can again simplify this d we can simplify like this so d will be simplified to a xr b xr b in so it is again a three input xr gate what we get in full adder for sum similarly we, if we take b out expression it is a bar b in plus a bar b plus b into b in so by using these two expression now we can write the logical circuit